All right, guys, welcome back to Burning Rubber Garage. Out here in the garage today, I wanted to try and switch this disc brake off our donor bike over. Uh, the Honda frame we got here just isn't going to support it. Uh, and you really need something like that where the, the reservoir is up here, and then here's your piston that puts the pressure into the line. There's just nowhere to really mount it. I'm sure I could rig something up, but this bike's already got enough rig jobs. I really need to be able to do it. So instead I'm gonna swap plastics onto this bike and I'll show you those in just a minute. All right, this bike has looked pretty cool for the last, I don't know, five, six years. I think we bought these off KSL. You can see they're uh, starting to come off there. They're just they're just wear, worn out. It's just time for some new new stuff. But uh, let's go ahead. Let me show you what we got. Uh, we went from a Monster Energy graphic, which is which is a cool graphic. There's the side piece. So I'm gonna pull these pieces out. We'll see what we got. There's the front plate. There's the back. Again, these are used, so we'll probably have to do some modifications. There's another side piece. There's a the front. I think there's your exhaust side piece. So uh, what we also got in here is a whole other set. These are brand new plastics. They were going to go over there on the 2015. Uh, those ones are, just need something else. Um, other than that, looks like we got everything there. Let's go ahead and see how this looks when we put it on. Uh, take off a couple bolts here and we should be good to go. Alright, so it looks like on this bike we've got the screw there, the screw over there. We've got one in the front, three bolts in the bottom. I don't think it honestly has any other screws in it, sadly. Uh, we should have something back there. And then right up front here on this side, you should have a pop tab there and a pop tab over there if you can see that but this doesn't have that so what we're gonna do is take these apart uh, once I get them apart we'll take the seat off and we'll start hooking this uh, new set of plastics to the seat they look so silly without the plastics but we got it all over here my new next thing I got to do here is flip this guy over and start undoing these and putting on the new ones so that should be a uh, pretty good time and we'll, we'll once we get that put on there we should be ready to rock and roll which will be uh, even funner. So uh, like I said, we used an eight millimeter on the front. I don't know if I told you guys that or not. There's three bolts there. We only had two bolts there. You should have two more, two more at the back, one here, one on the other side, two tabs there, and then three at the front over there. So with that, uh, it's not very hard to remove the plastic. It's probably gonna be, take me longer to assemble these, but uh, that shouldn't even be very bad. So let's get going. First thing we gotta do is strip these plastics down to the bare seat. All right, looks like we got the body on. After looking at it, these are, they're not bad. It is gonna change the look of the bike. They're a little newer, they're not so cracked, but they need a good cleanup. They've definitely been used. So we're gonna go ahead and get that front on. In the back, we're still missing. I gotta get some bolts for the back, but overall they look pretty good. I'll give you a far away shot when we get a little closer to being done. All right, so if this was any other bike, I'd probably find another way to do it, but this front mount piece uh, doesn't work with either of these holes, so I am just going to modify Since it's Frankenbike just modify this I don't condone holding the drill while you do this, but I'm going to do it anyway, so go we're starting to break through it just gonna take it a minute uh, probably have a better bit for the job but this is what we're gonna use so there we go so we got that there we did modify that uh, that should go on there so once I get that piece put on there and nice thing about it is I drilled through the back so it did all the split outs at the back Front still looks good. You won't even notice it when I go to put this uh, the screw in. It's going to look like that. Might even paint the screw black. So let me get that put on. We'll go from there. All right, there she is. 
I don't really like how that looks. We need to get that so it shows that in the normal, but uh, let's go ahead and go around the bike. New plastics all the way around. Well, new to it, they're used. You can see if you get up close, you can kind of see it's all scuffed up and dropped. I'm gonna have to probably zip tie that down, zip tie that one down. Uh, that's what they did, but uh, overall, pretty good look, nice change. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna take the rear tire it's sad when I have to buy a brand new tire. I can't find a used one, but it's probably wise to have a new tire put on anyways. So uh, let's give you a back shot of it there. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. I'm enjoying making it. It's kind of cool to see this bike go from just paperweight to actual rideable. You can kind of see up here the, where it's taken. I think that's just where stickers have come off. Honestly, that would probably come right off. Oh, yeah, it will. So I'll have to take some time, put that there, because I want it to look nice. Once I get the tires, then I'll probably, well, at least the rear tire front's pretty good. Once I do that, I'll probably black out the rims and the forks, make it look a little meaner. I clean up the engine a little bit. I'd like to change the sprocket so it doesn't uh, want to wheelie over so much. You know, I'd rather have it cruise and haul butt than want to wheelie. And first gear right now on this bike is really worthless. You kind of go straight to second, so. Be a nice little walk around here. We did use the drill on the front there. I think that looked turned out pretty good. The hole was supposed to be up here, but it just didn't quite line up right. So overall, pretty happy with that. Again, I want to thank all the new subscribers out there. We've got uh, a couple away from 500. Maybe by the time this video is up, we've hit 500. So if we have, thank you. I really appreciate it. I've had a lot of fun doing this. It's taken us a while to get up there, but we're slowly picking up subscribers every day. I'm trying to keep a lot of content coming out. I don't have a regular postings time. I would love to post like Friday, Sunday, Wednesday, but uh, right now I'm just posting when I get it. Uh, a lot of times the, the footage sits for sometimes up to a week or two, and then I'll edit it, throw it up there. Uh, life gets busy, so. Uh, with that being said, again, thanks everybody. Subscribing, uh, liking the video, sharing the videos. I think I saw a nice little uptick in the shares, which is just freaking amazing. Thank you guys. Uh, we got some fun stuff coming. I am going to be selling one of my KLX, the regular KLX 110. I'm going to keep the L, and I'm going to keep the uh, the Honda 110. But the other one I, I bought with the intentions to kind of uh, go out and ride, have a good time. Uh, it's just I've never had enough people over to need to ride them so and instead of it sitting here just being a waste of money somebody miles will be enjoying that so I'm selling that uh, Kawasaki KLX 110 the 2010 I got a guy coming to look at it tonight I hate to sell bikes I wish I could keep them all but uh, we'll be buying something else I've got a, an idea of what I might get but uh, with that price of bike I should be able to snag something fun for the channel and we'll go from there. But uh, again, thanks everybody. It's, uh, it's so cool to get so close to 500. I, I think today I've been out and about doing some things. I uh, had some things come up. I've been out taking care of those. And man, I keep checking it. We went from 494 to 495 to 496. And we're, we're just a couple away from 500. I really hope we hit that by the time the next video uh, I film. Maybe even tomorrow when I do that rear tire. I hope we're to the point where we can get this 500 mark and then start moving towards a thousand and again if you know somebody who might like these videos send it to them something you want to see something you want to hear me talk about while we're working uh, more than happy to do that i guess you don't really want to look at my ugly mug uh let's get let you at least look at the bike again i think it turned out freaking awesome uh, the gold if i could get the back gold i would do it but that other one's just not going to work like we talked about but again thanks for everything everybody uh, it's been a lot of fun. We're going to keep going. Uh, hopefully Justin will join us here soon. We've got a couple things coming up on the Nova. We're just we're going to go uh, hit it hard till winter comes and then figure out what we're going to do at that point, probably ride in the snow. So thanks again, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. As Justin would say, peace.